Finding the confidence interval in Desmos is so easy with their inference tool. So I'm just here at desmos.com. I'm gonna click on open that graphing calculator. We're gonna use a tool that we can get to by clicking on the plus sign in this upper left-hand corner. Now I'm not logged in. Let me go ahead and just click to close that. I'm gonna click that plus sign and then we are looking for this inference tool. And you can do it for a Z test or a T test. You've got lots of different options here. We're gonna be looking for a 95% confidence interval that contains the actual average daily screen time. In my sample of 28 students, their average was 4.65 hours with a sample standard deviation of 2.48. Now we could use our formula and go through all of the steps to come up with this confidence interval, but we're gonna let Desmos do all that tedious work for us. Because I wanna show you how to do this both with the data and with those already computed statistics that we had, let's go ahead and start with the data. I'm gonna click on the X here and I'm gonna drop some data into Desmos. I've got my data over here in um, Google Sheets. You could have it wherever. I'm just gonna select all of this data, clicking on that first data value, shift clicking on the last one, and then I'm gonna copy it with a control C. If you were on a Mac, you would probably do a command C. So I'm gonna do a control Control C, back over into Desmos. I've got my cursor in an empty cell and I'm gonna paste with a Control V or Command V on a Mac. So Control V here. Now I've got this huge list. I really want to name it though. So I'm gonna back up to the beginning of this list. I'm just about there. And I'm gonna call it just S for screen time. So capital S equals. Now let's put our cursor in another empty cell and we're gonna bring up that inference tool. I'm gonna to click on the plus sign and I want inference and we do want a t-test since we just have that sample standard deviation and only 28 data values. So I'm gonna choose the t-test and we're gonna do it with the data list first. I would hit S here and then create test. That would be the first way to do it but we can also do it with the statistics that we were given. The statistics were a sample size of 28. I'm gonna tab over to the mean, which was 4.65, and then that sample standard deviation of 2.48. Either way, you would click on Create Test Next, even though we're doing a confidence interval. Notice it brings up two different options here. We're not gonna do the significance test. Let's go ahead and expand the confidence interval information. Now it's assuming a confidence level of 0.95, which is exactly what we want, but you could change this by clicking on that 0.95. You could change it to a 0.90 and it changes those confidence interval limits. You could also change it to an N and then add a slider and play around with that slider to see what different limits you get. But we did want the 0.95. I'm gonna get rid of that slider as well and it gives me the 3.688 and the 5.612. I can get to these values and work with them more by clicking the three dots, and that gives me additional decimal places. I can also copy them down into one of my empty cells, and it gives me tons of decimal places. If I wanted to also find that margin of error, I would use our point estimate or that sample mean of 4.65 and then subtract that lower limit of 3.688356 and so on and so forth, which gives me that margin of error of 0.9616. So we can say with 95% confidence that the actual mean lives between 3.688 and 5.612. What this really means though, is that if we were to resample groups of 28 students, the actual mean would live in 95% of those intervals. Subscribe for more videos like this one. I've got another Desmos video for you here.